If you have just a few minutes, let me show you how to accept PayPal payments and credit card payments for your WordPress membership site, whether that's one-time payment or recurring. What we're talking about is first of all, we have a web page like this. Like we have an income machine.com, piece of paper look and feel, a bunch of text. We go to the bottom and there's a button to buy. Now someone can click on that button and they're sent to this page where they can check out using this processor called PayPal. And they can log in with the PayPal account if they have one or pop this open and if they don't have an account they can uh, put in their either their ba direct bank information or you can put in just a good old credit card and this is great for you because you don't have to mess around with merchant accounts secure server certificates or any of that stuff you just take payments with this place called PayPal and then after someone checks out then they're in this protected download area like this where they can log in and log out at any time and if they ever refund or cancel then their account no longer functions they can no longer log in Let's create that. So the steps we're going to take is to accept PayPal payments is first uh, use PayPal because what's great about PayPal is that many people prefer to use it because they can pay you money without actually exposing their credit card details. They can just pay through their PayPal account, log in and see all of their payments and see their recurring transactions and then refund, which means take the money back or cancel, which means stop recurring payments, which then means they lose access to your site. We're going to install WordPress and then install a plugin that you get from IncomeMachine.com called MemberGenius. We make sure to get a PayPal business account. We add content and protect it, create a test user to make sure everything functions properly, and then hook up PayPal. We go to our MemberGenius plugin and the payments tab and we just go down through a list to set certain settings in PayPal to set a thing called an identity token and then to create a special button that we place on a sales letter on a web page and after someone pays us money then they'll have access and if they refund then they'll lose their access I'm going to show you how to do this with a one-time payment which is called a buy now button in PayPal or even with a recurring payment, which PayPal calls a subscription button. We'll set up a new site. Right now we have a .com registered at membershipnewbie.com, and then we have web hosting for that. So I'll go real quickly and set up a WordPress site in a couple seconds. If you already have WordPress, hang tight with me. This will literally only take a minute. We're going to log into our site slash C panel. Once we're logged in, scroll down to quick install. Install WordPress, install WordPress. We'll put this on our membership newbie site and we'll put the members area in our members folder. And then this is the part that will be different, put in your own email address, name of your site. For the username, I put in my first and last name with no spaces, tell it my first name, tell it my last name. Uh, now it says your installation is complete. View this, so I'll double click, right click and copy my password, left click on that, and now we have a WordPress site up and running. That's great. We're logged in here. And uh, now this is a place where we can add content and protect content and all kinds of crazy stuff. Great. Let's then install the Member Genius plugin. The place to get that is to join our course at IncomeMachine.com. This includes training on how to make a sales letter, how to make a membership site, all kinds of good stuff. It's an all-in-one course either pay it all up front or pay it in installments. Once you click on whichever button you want, they will take you to the same place. They take you to a members area where you now have access to the software. The software is called Paper Template. We go and click on that and it gives us a couple pieces of information. So keep this tab open for the time being. This is the Paper Template plugin. So right click and save link as, actually not Paper Template, we want Member Genius, I'm sorry. Paper Template allows you to make a sales letter but we want Member Genius instead to host the membership site. So here we go, Member Genius, right click and save link as, put it on the desktop. Now it's saved to the desktop. This is a WordPress plugin that we'll install in a second. And there's a three step process to install that. Now we're in our membership, newbie.com site. I'm gonna close down Income Machine because we don't need it anymore. And then actually I do need it, crap. No big deal, still logged in. 
we go to plugins add new upload plugin choose file find the member genius plugin click install now it's there activate the plugin go and find member genius and it fills in our stuff that's why I wanted to keep this tab open because if the tabs open then it will be able to fill everything else in save member genius key as it says and here is our member genius dashboard this is where we can see the members we have and things like that and if we look at our site now we can see all kinds of content if we click on log out give it a second now we're logged out now we can't see that content anymore and now I I'm glad I left this tab open because I need that to log back in now we have the beginnings of a membership site what we can do at this point is say I want to add a new post and I'll make this module one in my post module one content allow access to members only on the full level publish that thing and you know, we could add more content and stuff like that, but for now, you get the idea. We have posts in our site. If someone is a member, they can see them. If someone is not a member, they cannot see them. So we've added content and protected it on a level called full. We go to Member Genius Levels, and we have a level here called the full level. We go to the Contents tab, and we can see that we are managing the full level, and someone on the full level can see the Hello World post and the Module 1 post test us out even more we can go to members add new member and I'll think of a username for this person member or income machine.com and we'll figure out a name for this person great we got that on the first try and if we open this in a new incognito window we can see membergenius.com actually let me go to the front page there so the front page, we're leaving that open so that we can have a sales letter or pitch page or landing page there. Go to the members folder and it asks us to log in and we can log in as that member that we just created. And now that member logged in and notice how they, they can't change anything in the site. They can't log in and add content or anything like that. But when they log in, they can view the content that we have created. Just to recap so far, we've installed WordPress and the Member Genius plugin. We've added content and protected it on the full level. We've created a test user on the full level to log in and try it out. Now here comes the fun part. We will configure PayPal. We will set a thing called an identity token and then create a button to place on a web page. Let's do it. The page we're looking at right here, this is just to open our test user so I'm going to close down this whole window and now we're still changing the membership newbie settings the member genius settings we'll go to payments and we want to create a PayPal button and we just go down through the steps you get a PayPal account and we require you to have a PayPal business account if you have just a personal one, uh, there's a special link you can click and upgrade it. It's free. The only catch is that PayPal takes a percentage of your sales. What we'll do is we'll log in and go to Profile, My Selling Tools, Selling Online, Website Preferences, and go and follow the steps. Okay? We'll set this thing called Auto Return to On, this Payment Data Transfer to On. Uh, and then turn on instant payment notifications. So there's this first section where we only have to do this once and then in the future whenever we create PayPal buttons we uh, can skip this step. Then following the instructions we just click the head icon and choose profile and settings. That takes us to this page. We click on my selling tools and then we want website preferences. So over here website preferences click update where it says auto return be sure this is set to on and then return URL it doesn't matter what website this is it just has to be one of your websites so we already have this set to one of our websites be sure to click save on this page and once you do this other area will appear and then you'll see this payment data transfer and set this to on and then there's a special code called an identity token that's down below here. I've hidden it from you, uh, but you're going to want to click, hold down, and highlight it 
right click and copy and then we'll have a special place in Member Genius to paste that in. So we're just going through the instructions and it might seem like a, a lot of small steps but it's fine we're just doing as it says. So now that we've saved all that and we've set the uh, receive messages and everything and now we are still in this area grab the identity token and then paste it right in here in this PDT identity token area and click save PTD identity token. So I realized you had to go through a couple steps but now you're going to be finishing up and creating the button in PayPal. We are going to go to the tools tab PayPal buttons create a button and then create new button. We'll create a buy now button and then under item name enter the name of our site which this product is membership newbie under the item ID enter this exact number so that we don't have to think about it. just enter the number we tell you enter a price such as ten dollars and then we're going to set the final settings the final fields so we need to look for tools PayPal buttons tools I guess they changed it again all tools so that was just tools, all tools, and then go and find PayPal buttons right there. Left click on that. And then here are some buttons we made previously. So I'm going to delete some of these old buttons that we had um, from previous tests. So let's delete this membership newbie button and stuff like that. So we're going to click on create new button. And this will be not a shopping cart. The only times, you, the only things you're ever going to want to choose are buy now or subscription. Buy now means they pay you one time. Subscription means they pay you a fixed number of payments, like five payments, or they pay you recurring forever. Buy now button, item name. You can make this whatever you want. So the site name of our site is Membership Newbie. Item ID. This must be the number we give you. So you might have multiple products for sale in the same site and the other levels will be listed here. Right now we just have this full level. So double click this to highlight it. Right click and copy this number. Go and paste that in as the item ID and then price anything you want such as $10. That's it for setting those things. Skip step two and then step three. Actually, let me double check. So with step two, we're gonna make sure to save the button at PayPal. But step three is now where we add the final instructions. So under this, we did this and this and this. Step three, so um, we will say take or check the box labeled take customers to this URL when they finish checkout. And we will copy this URL and say after they finish checkout, send them to this big long thing. We go back here and we say not when they cancel, but when they finish checkout, then we'll send them to this big long thing. Then we go down and we have to select all three lines here, right click and copy, and put this in the add advanced variables checkbox. What does this all do? Who cares? Just paste it in. We scroll down and add advanced variables, right click and paste, and there we go. So we, we had to fill in a couple things. We had to say, I want a buy now button. And the button has this name so they know this is what they're paying for. We had to paste in this item ID, which is the level they're buying access to, the price so that they know what they're buying. And then we said that we want to take them to this special URL that we give you when they're done and then add in these advanced variables. And what this last part does here is if they cancel or refund this last part tells uh, PayPal to notify us and that way their account will be canceled. Click on create button and now you have this button. Ooh, but we don't want all this crazy stuff. Well, I like to left click and grab this email link instead. So this way we can use this any place we want. Right click and copy and now wherever you place this link, this is the button or the link someone will click on in order to pay you money. Now in Income Machine we give you a plugin called Paper Template, but we don't really have time right now to set up all that stuff. So I'm just going to make things really super simple. We're going to go to our control panel again and then go and browse to the file manager and so you see we have this members folder this is where the membership site is set up but let's make a page just on the front page of our site 
click new file. We'll name this index.html, create new file, left click on this, click on HTML editor, and then we will click edit. And this is kind of like a Word document. And here we can say um, headline goes here. We can say subheadline goes there. We can say, uh, let me explain the course you're about to buy, dot, dot, dot. We can make some bullet points here and say bullet one, bullet two, bullet three. And then we can even say buy now. And um, I guess highlight all this and center everything. And then for the buy now part of it, actually, I don't like these bullet points then. We'll just have it like that. For the buy now part of it, let's make it a link. So click on this link right there, and we will paste that in. And we want we want to make this HTTP. Okay, cool. Made it HTTPS for us. And uh, great. So we click on OK, and now we have a link. And if we uh, do a Control A and highlight every everything on the page we can say let's make this uh, Arial font let's make this a uh, heading one let's make this a heading two okay let's make this heading two is there a way to make it like a red color here we go text color so make it like a red right there and make the buy now button be big and bold just like a word document so now it's kind of coming together. We click on save and this will get us done for the moment. If we're in a rush, only have a couple minutes, making a quick down and dirty page right here will get us by at least until we have time to install the paper template plugin. Now when I go to membershipnewbie.com, well here we go. We've got a headline, subheadline stuff, and then we have a buy now button here. And the buy now button, if we click on it, well, look what it does. It says we're going to pay double agent marketing LLC, membership newbie, and all that stuff. So right now, you have a functioning sales letter, and you can click on a link, and then someone, after clicking on the link, can then get access to your member genius plugin, which runs this membership newbie site. We could stop here, but maybe you want me to test the button. That's easy. What we want to do is, let's do a couple things. Click, go back to edit this button. And we will edit the button and we will change the price temporarily to 0 0.01. What's great about having the button hosted in PayPal is you don't have to go back and edit your web page. You can just say a one cent button in PayPal. Go here and save the changes. Whoops. And it needs a, what does that even mean? Email address. Uh, let me try saving the changes again. Oh, so PayPal's doing something weird. So let me just go uh, back and. Oh, you know what happened actually? Because I clicked and tested the button, it logged me out of PayPal. So allow me to log back in. Now that we're logged in again, go to Tools, All Tools, scroll down and find PayPal buttons again. And now we're here and now this is the button that we just created that even shows us the date we created so we make sure it's the right one go to action edit button and once this loads we can change this once again to 0 0.01 just one penny click save changes and let's test the button so i'm going to make sure that i'm let me think here i'm going to need to log out of my account so I'll close down um, all these tabs and I'll even log out of the membership site completely. Great. Now I'll go to membershipnewbie.com. Here's the headline. Here's the link to click and buy now. So we can left click and buy. And if we set the button correctly, let me even close PayPal. Now we're paying one penny. Now this is the time when, because you can't pay yourself, you can pay yourself from a personal PayPal account into the business PayPal account or get a friend to pay for you. But you're going to check out. I'm going to fill in my details and I'm going to pay one penny into uh, my business PayPal account. Click on pay now. Wait a second for that. And here we go. Here's the registration page. If you don't like the look of this registration page, I kind of don't. 
you can change the theme of your membership site but for now let's just make sure it works I, I really regret not changing the theme but if you change your theme for example to say like the 2012 theme this will look a little bit better but we know that okay it took us to this page and it already pre-filled out these details and if these details are different for uh, our members so we can say maybe like Lance Thomas Shiro bot access instead then they can enter in or correct the information that PayPal already gave us and we can put in a password right here and enter it again click on submit registration and now we now we're here now we have access to see module one and that's the only thing we set up but now this Lance Tomashiro character here now they uh, can see what it is they just bought access to now we can uh, actually so now let me log out and log back in as this guy here we can click on member genius and then see that we have now this Lance Tomashiro person uh, registered 72 seconds ago cool and we can look look at the members and see here Lance Tomashiro is here as well now let's test and make sure that if Lance refunds or we give him a refund through PayPal then it will revoke his access we logged into PayPal and looked at our recent sales and found this one cent sale click on issue a refund and this will give this person their money back so left click and issue a refund for one penny click continue issue refund and so it's this 2NB transaction it's it's done it's sent it might take a minute or two for everything to get caught up uh, so this 2NB transaction here in a minute here I might have to wait uh, but eventually once we look at this there we go I refreshed it enough time so that took what maybe five ten seconds to reach our server now this full level is crossed out it's in red and so this means that this person still has an account with us we can still have that record that they paid us money but the thing they paid access to that access is now gone and if we ever want to for whatever reason let this person back in we can check their name choose the full level and uncancel from the level and then it will undo this crossed out thing or we can even find someone uh, who we manually made an account for check the box next to their name and choose full cancel from that level or even delete them completely by saying delete member remove from level all that kind of stuff so that is how we create a payment button and take single one-time payments on our membership site.